I, did, I didn't really feel the pressure of it because I um um <laughs> well, I don't think I I think there's so many ways that you could play them and Ken kind of wanted it all really you kind of um which made it a lot of fun we could it felt like each scene we could go somewhere different with it um and it didn't um uh, and Ken was always open to wanting to try new things so that you know li like literally sometimes he'd be like actually can you do play this one really genuine and you know cry and so sometimes would be there'd be like moments of absolute genuine emotion mixed with complete silly hilarity um and then kind of st stoic posing and it, that was um uh it, it just made the whole process quite fun it felt, felt, felt like kind of felt like some sort of acting workshop rather than kind of work one thing about working with Ken that was so um, kind of exciting every day and that like sometimes he'd um, want us to improvise but then sometimes he'd he, he'd have an idea of exactly what he wanted maybe choreograph uh, wise and physically so that he um, uh, sometimes we, uh, he'd give us very specific direction um, uh, and so it was kind of it was, it was fun to kind of play the um, to have both processes of working at once. Yeah, definitely. I think there's that this from he understands actors and kind of has faith in that process and um kind of can um can recognize that we <laughs> you know that there's no kind of um barrier between direction and what he wants. He's like he's very clear on um on uh, uh on, on 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 what he's looking for, which is kind of um uh, it makes it kind of uh, uh, sort of a h hard work, but a kind of um, fulfilling process to be part of. Mm. Uh, Kate is wonderful. She brings like such a kind of strong presence to the stepmother, and uh, um, but at the same time as having like kind of. A, a, I mean, she's such an intelligent actress that she just everything is layered with emotional complexity there's never anything it's never kind of there's never a scene that's simple and I um uh and I think that kind of that uh adds a lot of kind of depth to the family um mm. and so I feel like through even through Kate's performance you kind of understand the girls as well you understand where they've kind of where they've come from and who they've come from yeah I mean I think Ken definitely wanted to create this kind of traditional uh fairy tale but he wanted to base it in kind of a uh psychological realism and a humanity and the kind of like the the essence of human nature and so he was in uh we kind of we spent quite a bit of time in rehearsals talking about the backstory and maybe where this family had come from and what they'd been through and why they are uh why they act towards Cinderella as they do and I think there's always um, there was always reasons that people become bully bullies, and I think a lot of it is a lot of bitterness and jealousy is kind, of, and resentment can be uh, based in like lack of self confidence or like kind of um, uh, problems in in the past, and it's just uh, that's what I think that's what it is with this family. Uh, I I love it's like I love the I love the movie so much that I don't. It's just, it's, I just love watching it. <laughs> I'm like, I'm a super fan. Um, and it, it's weird, it just seems, it seems so much bigger than any one individual. So it's mm. kind of, it's, it's an amazing to have been part of that yeah. history. I think the one of the first movies that scared me was Dumbo. And I, oh, yeah. yeah, and I really, I used to, it was one of the movies that I always used to want to watch on repeat because it scared me. It's kind of, I was interested in that kind of like, uh, that dark loneliness in that. <laughs> 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 that was sick child. <laughs>